In this section, we are going to return to some core functionality, the Tor module and its API. This section will cover what is a Tor, creating a Tor, and creating a block to give access to a Tor. In this video, we will look at how Tors are named, where Tors are located, what Tors ship with Core, and what a Tor looks like. Modules make Tors available by creating a file of the format tor.tor.tor. .tor torid.yml. Let's take a look at what Tor files are available with Core. I'm using the find utility to search for file names that start with tor.tor. Besides some results for testing Tors, we see that there are currently five Tors that ship with Core. All of them are located inside the module name forward slash config forward slash optional directory. There is a Tor for the locale module, three tours for the language module, and one tour for the views user interface. The tour module should already be installed by the standard installation profile. Let's enable the language module by navigating through Manage, Extend, and Filtering on Language. Check the box for the language module and click the Install button. Then navigate through Manage, Help, and scroll down the page to the Tours section. Click on the Adding Languages link. Start the tour by clicking the tour link in the toolbar. We are presented the first of three panes in the tour. This pane has a title of Adding Languages. It is presented as a simple modal with plain text. When we click the Next button, we are taken to the second pane of the tour. This pane has a title of Select Language. It is attached below the language name dropdown. The third and final pane has a title of Continuing On. It is presented as a simple modal. If we hover our mouse over the third bullet point, we will see that it is a clickable link. It is possible to include HTML markup in our tours. You may leave the language module enabled, as we will need it later in the course when we look at making our site multilingual.